In this video, I'd like to show you guys a. Uh, um, I'd like to show you why, why, the floor of this car got rusted. This is a 1966 Thunderbird, I think. I don't know it's a Thunderbird. Just not sure of the year. Cool car, by the way. But um, I've got this point. Um, how can I say this? Um, there's always a reason why something breaks, why something gets damaged, why something wears out. And the only reason why that happens is if it was badly made. If things are made properly and they're made with good quality, they're made to my standard, they last forever. I know things like brake pads and uh, tires, those are things that wear out. I mean, there's no way you can make them not wear out. Right? doesn't matter if it's the uh, Tesla, if it's an airplane, or whatever it is. Uh, brakes and tires, they wear out. And in those cases, things have to be easily replaceable. You know, they have to be accessible. And that's... I know, I know that may seem obvious, but with modern cars, that's most often not the case. It's a fucking nightmare to change, like a head gasket, to change... A, even a brake pad. I've seen. I've seen cars that are unbelievable, guys. Took, took me a took like, took a whole fucking day just to change a brake pad. Ridiculous. And the cases where that's not the case, as fun as that may seem, then, like I said, things break down for a reason. If they're not, if they're made properly, they won't break down. They won't wear out. They won't rust. So, let's see if you guys can spot. Well, now I painted over, but I guess I'm sort of telling you the answer, but why the floors of this car wore out. Did you just catch that? In case you didn't, as you can see here, this red stuff was the primer. And it's, uh, and I believe this car was already, uh, like the whole car was dipped in rust preventive primer really good stuff now the problem is you see the paint they just very very ever so lightly sprayed over it here now I it wasn't actually sprayed here this is just over sprayed from here so when they were painting the car I believe it was done by hand they would spray it here on the top where it matters where you can see and they just would spray nothing here now even so for example the bottom there you can see the line where they put the undercoat. See all this stuff here? That's why these cars last forever. They were rust they were rust painted inside. Plus the they put this uh rubberized asphalt. As you can see, it's like brand new. However, they didn't put it on the bottom. And as you can see there, the rust starts to form. Now, as I said previously, that's very, very dumb. Because the most important place is at the bottom, because that's where the water settles. That's where the water goes to. It settles at the bottom. You wouldn't. It's not even necessary to put this stuff on the side. It's not terribly necessary. But the bottom, fuck, that's that's where you should you, you're supposed to put it. And as you can see, they didn't put it. So we're gonna fix that. But I'm gonna show you guys here. Here's the same thing. You see, they didn't paint it. They just put they they put that you know the primer and all that. But you know, all it takes is a scratch to remove remove the primer if it's just a light coat. Now, on the floors, people are always you know walking and stepping on the floor. So if you just put just a very light coat, you now then it scratches and rust starts to form, and then all hell break, breaks loose. I'll show you guys the other side. Here, same thing, you know. They had left like a good thick coat like this, and this wouldn't have happened. There's a new floor put in.
continuous welds. Still got to do some more welding though. And as you can see there, see just, they just put light coat. Let's see, especially the corners, it starts to deteriorate. There it is. And plus, I, I already removed it, but they put like uh, this sort of stuff here. These these little sheets of rubber. They're not. It's not rubber. It's like asphalt, but. As you can see, it's just loose. That's terrible. But anyways, I got the new floor and everything ready to go. I'd just like to show you guys. Like I said, the other things only break down. They only wear out. They only get broken. They only, you know, come to an end if they're badly done. If they're properly done, that doesn't happen. You like consider this paint guys it's you know it's 50 years old over 50 years old I mean paint yeah I guess it does, could wear out eventually but the corners I don't I if you watch my rambler painting the rambler video you know that on the corners you're supposed to put more paint that's not what they done here. See, they put this sort of silicone stuff uh, on top and then painted it afterwards. That's that's very, very dumb because silicone, it eventually hardens and it cracks. And that's exactly what happened. You can see the paint here on top. So they done that wrong. Yeah, Ford, I know. I know you started making cars 100 years ago, but... Somewhere along the line, you you fucked up. You or whoever came after you, but this is wrong. Paint first, silicone after. They didn't bother to paint it. You see, there's no paint underneath this. You just put this stuff and then painted it over. Painted ah, painted over it. But anyways, this is not going to be green. By the way, I'll show you the end result. But this is just some leftover uh, rust paint that I had. So coat of that, like I said, it's gonna be really, really thick. I have a coat of that, and then once this dries off, uh, once this dries, I'm gonna put some white paint on it, and it's gonna be really thick. And then all over the edges, especially along the welds, we're gonna put some. I'm gonna put some uh, rubberized asphalt. By the way, I used a 16 gauge on this car, so it, it is really thick. You'll see once, I'll show you on that side, never mind, I'll show you in the next video. These floors, they don't move, they're solid. Anyways, thanks for watching.